Hello good day viewers, still on coordinate geometry. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the coordinates of the point of intersection between two lines. So now let us read the question. The question reads, points A, B, C and D have coordinates negative 4, negative 9, 6, negative 3, 11, 5, negative 1, 9 respectively. We have three questions here. The first one reads, Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. The second question reads, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment CD. And the last question reads, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two perpendicular bisectors. And this is our main goal. Alright, let's get started. Let's start with the first one, which is A. So the A part we want to find that equation which is perpendicular by sector of this line segment, AB. So now let us draw a straight line, which is AB. Suppose we have a straight line like this, and it happens that this is A and this is B. What are the coordinates? We have negative 4, negative 9 for A, negative 4, negative 9, and B we have 6, negative 3. 6, negative 3. All right. From the question, we are asked to find the equation of the line which is perpendicular by sector of this line AB. You need to know two things here. Any line that is perpendicular by sector of this line AB, it must divide it equally. If the distance between A to B is 8, it is going to divide it into 4, 4, right? That is the first condition you should know. And secondly, that line is going to intersect line AB at right angle. So, suppose we have a line bisector like this. If this is the line, let me call it L1. If it is a perpendicular bisector of this line AB, it is going to meet AB at right angle. So, we have 90 degrees here. And it is going to divide this line into two equal parts. So, therefore, at exactly this point, we are going to have our midpoint. And what will be the midpoint? Let's find the coordinates of the midpoint. To find the midpoint, we are going to add the respective coordinates and divide by 2. Let's start with x coordinate. We take negative 4 and add it to 6. That will give us positive 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So x at that point is 1. And then for y, we take negative 9 and add it to negative 3. That will give us negative 12. Divide by 2 is negative 6. So we have negative 6 at this point. And another thing you should know about two perpendicular lines is that their respective slopes are the negative reciprocal of each other. Therefore, let us find the slope of the line AB. So slope of AB, which you know is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So let me start from point B, our y at that point is negative 3. So we have this to be equal to negative 3 minus y1, which is negative 9. Negative 9. We divide it by 6 minus minus 4, right? 6 minus minus 4. We simplify to obtain the slope. This is negative 3 minus minus is plus. Divide by 6 minus minus is plus. To the top, we have negative 3 plus 9, which is positive 6. To the bottom, we have 6 plus 4, which is 10, which we can reduce to the lowest term as 2 divide 6 3 times and 2 divide 10 5 times. So this is the slope of line AB. So what about the slope of line L1? Because that's our main goal. So slope of L1, you know it is going to be the negative reciprocal of this one. Reciprocal of 3 over 5 is 5 over 3. Its negative will be negative 5 divided by 3. This is the slope. But for you to find the equation of this line L1, you need its slope, which we have already, negative 5 divided by 3, and any point that lies on the line. And the only point we have here is the center, or the midpoint, 1, negative 6. So at 1, 6. 
we conform the equation in terms of points law form y minus y1 this is equal to m for the slope x minus x1 now let us substitute y minus y1 what is y at that point it is going to give us what negative 6 so we have negative 6 here this is equal to the slope which is negative 5 divided by 3 multiplied by x minus x at that point which is 1 let's simplify we have minus minus plus so y plus 6 equal to you distribute negative 5 divided by 3 times x negative negative is plus 5 divided by 3 and lastly you can take this one to the other side we have y equal to negative 5 divided by 3x then plus 5 divided by 3 then as 6 crosses over it becomes negative 6 and if you simplify this you are going to obtain negative 13 over 3 so finally our equation of the line l1 is equal to negative 5 divided by 3x minus 13 divided by 3 and hence this is the equation of what l1 we are done with the first question now moving to the second question which is b we are asked to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line segment cd so we are going to take cd that has the coordinates 11 5 negative 1 9 so b suppose we have line like this c d so we have 11 5 negative 1 9 we're going to do the same thing a perpendicular bisector of this line will intersect it at right angle so let me call this one l2 this time around let's find the slope of line cd slope of cd it is equal to what y2 minus y1 we take 9 minus 5 you can start from other point I told you. Then divide by negative 1 minus 11. You simplify 9 minus 5 is 4. Negative 1, negative 11 is negative 12. And if you reduce this to the lowest term, you have negative 1 divided by 3. And hence, this is the slope of the line CD. So what about slope of the line L2? You know it is going to be negative reciprocal of this one so slope of l2 will be equal to the reciprocal of this will be negative 3 divided by 1 and negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3 it negative reciprocal will be positive 3 so now let us choose a point that lies on l2 which is just what the midpoint so let's find the midpoint here the coordinate of this midpoint will be what? You take 11, you add it to negative 1, that will give us 10. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then for y, we have 5 plus 9, which is 14, divided by 2 is 7. So at 5, 7, at 5, 7, we have our equation y minus y1 equal to m for the slope x minus x1 let's substitute we have y minus y at that point is 7 this is equal to the slope is 3 multiplied by x minus x at that point is 5 you simplify you have y minus 7 equal to 3x minus 15 if you distribute 3 into the bracket then lastly you can take negative 7 to the other side you have y equal to 3x minus 15 as negative 7 crosses over it becomes positive 7 and lastly y equal to 3x uh, minus 8 this is the equation of the line l2 so far we have answered two questions but the most important one is the last one because we are asked to find the coordinates of that point where the two perpendicular lines meet you know we have so far two perpendicular lines we have this one and we have the other one here 
So how can we find their coordinates? Let me tell you something. If at all these two lines intersected, at that point of intersection, they were going to have the same value of x and y. Already we have y equal to this from here and y equal to that. So we can equate their right hand side to find the value of x at that point. Then we substitute into any of the equation to find the corresponding value of y. So the C part, we want to find the point of intersection between the two lines. The first line is this one and the other one is, let me just copy that. So we have two lines, y equal to 3x minus 8 and the other one, y equal to negative 5 divided by 3x minus 13 divided by 3. So this implies that their right hand side are equal, 3x minus 8 must be equal to negative 5 divided by 3x the minus 13 divided by 3. Let us multiply every single term by 3 to clear the fractions. 3 times 3x is 9x minus 8 times 3 is 24. This is equal to negative 5x minus 13. Let us bring x's together. We have 9x as negative 5x crosses over it becomes positive 5x. And this is equal to as negative 24 crosses over it becomes positive, the minus 13. 9x plus 5x is 14x. This is equal to 24 minus 13 is 11. And finally, x at that point is 11 divided by 14. So this is the value of x at that point. What about y? We can use any of this equation. Let me use y equal to 3x minus 8. y equal to 3x minus 8. But x is already 11 divided by 14. So y equal to 3 multiplied by 11 divided by 14. The minus 8. y equal to 33 divided by 14 minus 8. And if you simplify this, you are going to obtain negative 79 divided by 14. So y equal to negative 79 divided by 14. And hence you conclude that the point of intersection between the two perpendicular lines is what? We have for x is 11 divided by 4. 11 divided by 14, sorry. Then we have negative 79 divided by 14. And hence, this is the point of intersection between the two perpendicular lines. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.